And I'm here with legendary comedian George Lopez. I don't know what got me here, man. Fate. Oh, man, I love your new show. Fate, a car, a few things. Yeah, thank you very much. The show's, I, the show's good. I've been binge watching the show, and you, got, you have all these cameos and stuff. How difficult is that to get together? Well, uh, it's not difficult, you know, when they're friends of yours. So, you know, Arsenio was a friend of mine and um, Antonio Viragosa. You know, I thought, uh, you know, I've been given the keys to cars, you know, a few times. And I thought if I put it in the show, who, who could I give the, key, the keys to that would, that would make an impression that uh, it was offensive, you know. And uh, uh, Antonio uh, has been a good friend of mine and uh, he, he, he was great in the show. He comes back toward the end of the, of the, in, the in the last few episodes. Again, he comes back. So uh, Snoop. And uh, uh, Kathy Griffin and Arsenio, all, all great, uh, Babyface, all great uh, friends of mine. I think there's a few more surprises toward the end, too. When Snoop calls you, does it really look like they have it all in capital letters? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah, he calls, it's capital letters. You probably can smell them before he calls. So uh, you, you, sm you might smell weed and then the phone rings. <laughs> Can you talk about uh, how close you are to the George Lopez on the show in real life? Um, I think this is the uh, closest one. You know, I let this grow so I would look different than I did in the in the first show. Now I don't want to cut it at all, so it's getting a little bit out of hand. But I think that uh, the problems that uh, I have in this show are uh, a lot of the problems that I have in uh, in real life. So. Um, yeah, people, people binge watch, you know, nobody kind of watches and sits down anymore. So the fact that you can see it on demand or on Hulu or there's an app, TV land has an app is good because, uh, you can watch it, uh, you can watch it anytime. How long has this been in the works? Uh, it was probably from the last, uh, the last year. I think we did a, uh, a pilot of the show last, uh, 15, uh, like March of 15, and then somewhere in the summer, they decided to do it, and we started to write it. And we shot it from uh, January of 16 up until April of uh, 16. So it's been running since the end of March. And it's, uh, it's good. People, people, uh, I like that, the fact that people like it, and it's, it's standing uh, separate from uh, the first show even. You know, the first show everybody really liked. And uh, this one kind of has its own identity. I noticed that all the characters are likable and relatable. Could you talk a little bit about assembling that cast? And has there been any funny things going on off the set while the camera is not not rolling that you wish was in there? Uh, no, if it's funny uh, off the thing, we, we find a way to put it in there. But uh, you know, the 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 woman that cast the show um, worked on is, is like a tremendous person that does casting, and she did Silicon Valley. So so in all the other shows that I had done. I'd had kind of like a hand in picking people, but uh, in this one, I decided to let uh, let them find people, and they found uh, they found good people. I only had to fire one person. <laughs> you always have to fire one person. It sends a message to all the other ones. The best comedy always has a, has a message, right? Uh, what do you think the message of the show ultimately is? Uh, I think the message of the show is that uh, you know uh, whatever you regard success to be, some people regard sex to be, success to be like on the highest level. And I think you can be successful and and not have a job where everybody knows you, and uh, or money doesn't make someone successful. It's it's how they feel about themselves and the people that they have in their life. But you know, I always thought that when you had success and you had money that all your problems went away and, and this show shows you that they just started. And my last question is what's next for you so I could set up my DVR? Well, you know, hopefully this show comes back for another season and then, you know, I have a, uh, another show that's on, uh, it's going to be, I believe, uh, same company, Viacom, uh, with uh, Cedric the Entertainer and Dale Hughley and Eddie Griffin and Charlie Murphy that we're just starting to work on about a, a stand-up tour that we have. And uh, I'll spend the summer making sure that uh, Donald Trump doesn't get elected in November. All right. Check out Lopez on TV Land. It will brighten up your day no matter how gloomy it is. That's right. All right. Woo.